Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover. I'm sitting here in my war room just looking at Leo Belgicus being at peace. So, our goal, I've planned, is for us to take out the German Reich, the purple German Reich, as well as Italy, and pretty much everyone else in the Axis. That's not my puppet. So it includes Japan and its puppets. We're going to mostly leave alone the Defense Commission and Latin America for now, so we're going to focus on building up our country, as well as taking out Hungary, but that's probably not going to happen. Guaranteed by Mexican opposition, who's guaranteed by the United States. Well, let's see if we can take out Ching. It took a while to justify, but that's okay. By the way, uh, let's see, you all have like no thing to do, so you're just gonna go right there. Let's see, destroyers. Uh, go on home for now. Maybe we'll go to war some other time, that's okay. Yeah, go and go to home. Uh, let's see, I have convoy escorts, which is nice. And actually, what we need to do. What is this? Oh, I got a modifier lend lease to the Dutch East Indies. If I could annex, annex them. Uh, let's see. I could request. They have 23 divisions. That's not bad. Let's cancel that. Do need some convoys? Give 200. That'd be pretty good. Next delivery at any time. I'll give you like 50,000. And I gave you like 20,000 artillery pieces. That'd be good. Cool. Because I do want to eventually annex them, but they currently have too much autonomy. I need to save my uh, political power to annex some people. British Empire is going to stay this way. Dutch Congo. How much people do you have? 43,000. Oh, oh, that's not good. Force Republic's limited size. Oh, there we go. I like this. So increase it by another 25%. That would be very good. Finance fighter aircraft. Finance Belgium. Military help. Commit to the war. Technology sharing. Alright. So they get another 25%. Alright, cool. I do need more forces though. As we're building more and more things. We won't need, we won't need that, but that'll help keep uh, some suppression in the UK. Uh, Russia. How are you doing? Uh, we do need a lower of the UK as well. UK. Uh, they're exporting stuff to me, but I do have some master building going on. So, actually, let's take a quick look at their manpower levels. Service by requirement. Oh, God. British Empire. Service by requirement. Oh, God. Well, a lot of our men on both sides of the conflict uh, have died. A lot. See, these are Dutch. These are my puppets division, so that's... Wow, I only have eight. Oh, God. Oh, that's not good. Uh, guys, you're all going to train. Yeah, seriously, you all need to train. I need more divisions. Let's see. Let's take some from Russia. We can just create our own Russian division. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Gosh, look at all these stuff. It's 34 is not bad. Actually, that's probably the one we want. 14, 4. Yeah, let's duplicate that one. I did look at this between episodes. Why do you need so much anti-tank? I mean, it'll be useful against the United States. Don't get me wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, what if I just did this? Oh, it didn't copy. Russian Empire. I think I'm infantry template number 9. Copy. And then we can edit this, but this, not, this is... Really, it's not too bad. We just need to add some more support companies. Let's see, we got some Russians, which I actually do want to train like a bunch, like two full armies. Set them here in Russia. And we're going to need, holy crap, a lot more manpower. Let's see, Division Designer, Dutch East Indies. I already have one for Dutch East Indies. The British M. Oh god, Dutch. Oh, the English. Uh, 20. Four width looks pretty bad. What about six? That's pretty bad. Seven? It's getting better. They do have some tanks. Ooh, medium SP artillery template. Ooh. Nothing with 20 width. I mean, oh, what? That was 20 width. It's five and six. 
Uh, it's five and five. It's not as good as six and four. Six four, six medium tanks, and four motorized. Infantry to fight eight. Uh, that's close. It does include some anti tank. Six to fight five. No four. Three. They, they, they can't get tw 20 width. Colonial Garrison. Oh, how about this one? 18. I mean, it's not bad. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with this and then edit this division when uh, when I can. Alright, so this is Dutch. That's my, my first puppet, Dutch East Indies. Dutch Congo. You should have more population by now. Division de la Force Publique? Uh, no. Nope. Nine. Because I don't mind giving my soldiers and my puppets some more people. Forty. Four with some support. That's not bad. Armored Car Division? No. Oh, armored Car. Hmm. That looks okay. Alright. Oops. Alright, so we got... God dang, I didn't get it. So one at the bottom, 13, yes. Oh, you need to save it. Okay, so, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put them down here. And we'll do 4, so 1 full army. So we've got 2, we'll have 2 full armies here. Well, 1 full army here. So we need another 2 divisions. And the Dutch, not the Dutch, but the British are going to give it to me. British Empire. Oh, I'm back. I need to actually copy their division. Oh, Mocha's here, and he's... Uh, he's... I think he's eating his own hair. Ugh. 32, yeah. Let's duplicate. Let's save. Awesome. Uh, we'll edit that division, but we need to train a few more divisions. I need four of these to make a full stack of one full field marshal. Alright, so... With that, Mocha's clawing at the door. Oh, God, Mocha, why? Alright, so, sorry about that. Mocha, uh, he had to leave for some reason. So, we got a bunch of our puppets divisions training, which is great, great, great. And they're all going to need so much more manpower. And probably equipment. So, I better start researching some equipment. Especially anti-tank. We also want to spend this time increasing our sub-levels, or our, uh, what do you call... Naval fleets. So I do apologize for being so ragey in some of my past episodes. I mean, when I was losing all my divisions in the UK, that really pissed me off. That was really not very much fun, as you could tell. And I did accidentally hit a key uh, that ended the recording just a tad bit too early. So I do apologize for that. Let's see. Actually, we're not going to go declare war on Hungary just because... Uh, they are being guaranteed by Mexico, and we don't want to fight the Defense Commission just yet. So we're going to focus on somebody else. The guy named Master Ching. And Sin King. Cool. That's what we want. That's what we need. And we got some more immigrants. Nice. So we have a little bit more manpower. We got some more research times. Also, another goal of ours right now is to make sure... Why are you guys not all... There we go. Is to make sure that we have nukes. And we need a bunch of nuclear reactors. Uh, rocket sets, to my knowledge, aren't very good. So, yeah. We're not going to really use those very much. Keep the sub-production. That's fine. Am I missing any... Oh. I can reduce my supply, maybe, on... My allies and puppets. Alright. And of course we do have a ton of military factories. Insane amount. Nice. Right, so we got a lot of fighters. Advanced artillery. Probably use more of those. Uh, we do need some anti-tank guns, but I obviously can't produce those just yet. Yeah, we'll leave that in Holland. Holland. Yeah, that should be... You know what? Continue doing that for now. Yeah. Because 57 destroyers, some of them are definitely going to get blown up eventually. 
Interwar bombers are okay. That's okay. Let's see. Uh, motorized. I think I could probably use a couple more. A couple more dive bombers. Infantry equipment. I mean, all this stuff I'm just going to trade away eventually, so. Oh, you can only have only one. Okay, so that's something I learned today now. So you can only put up to a maximum of 150 of these uh, factories on any one uh, production line. So that's interesting. Huh. Let's make some more of these. Of course, we should make some more infantry equipment because we have all that steel. I love dive bombers so much. And it looks pretty good. Of course, I'll reduce factory usage once we get uh, anti-tank. How is our research doing? It's okay. It's okay. So I did type in the comments, how do you say people from, or how do people call other people, how do the Dutch call people from the Benelux region? So they call them Leglander, I, I believe, as Leglander. One of the uh, commenters did say Leglander. Leglander. Kind of cool. Wait. Belgium losing control. So, Leo Belgicus are people, contain people that are from Leglander. It's the best way I'm pronouncing it. Uh, I am an American, just saying. Not the best pronunciation, but whatever. Actually, you know, let's get rid of the subs. Cool. Oh, and uh, I don't need you. Fighters are done. Very good. Go to Brittany. You guys go on home. I'll put him with that group. All right, so Fighter 3 is done. It's 1944. We're trying to build ourselves up. I bet when we fight the Americans, we're going to lose a bunch of people to mistakes that I create myself. We need anti-tank. Oh, we can lower the autonomy of awesome Dutch East Indies Protectorate. And it costs me a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, wow, they just lost 100. We speak out against the Qing. Am I still sending stuff to them? I'm glad they're fascist. They're, they're, they're like our brother. Kind of. Alright, so the next yield probably lower their templates as well. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Well, before we switch over production, that would be 19... Oh, 1945. Then we get jet fighters. Uh, let's go... What is this? Fighter Bomber 3? Oh, that's modified for ground attacks. So, we've got three things. Fighters, Fighter Bomber 3s, and then a jet fighter. So, between these two... Uh, let's see. Surface manpower 20. Jet fighters require 40. Wow. Let's see. Range is best with the jet fighter bomber. Hmm. Air defense, same. Air attack. The jets definitely take it out. Superiority, it's all the same. Agility is actually best with the regular fighter. Hmm. Naval attack. The bomber's pretty good. But hey, the jet fighter's pretty good as well. Naval targeting 10, 10, 1. So don't use these for naval targeting. Ground attack is okay. Obviously, the fighter bomber is pretty good. Jet fighter is even better. Max speed. Wow. 950. Well, you kind of expect that from jet fighters. Reliability. Same. Production cost. These two are the same. So, let's see. 20, 80. This is still the fastest. Jet fighter can hit higher speeds under optimal circumstances. Well... This does cost double, and it does cost tungsten instead of oil. Uh, they can all perform the same mission types. And if I do want to do ground attack, I might as well use jet fighters. We might want to just do jet fighters instead of wasting all of our extra stuff here. All of our uh, air XP or air experience. So we'll just make fighter threes. Go ahead and convert all of them as well. So. As we're making our way to Ching, hopefully we don't suffer too much uh, attrition. Ah, oh, yeah, Russia does own these provinces. I can. Oh, okay, we'll get that. Wait, why, why can I build in Ching? 
Daily neutrality support. Division training time and population. Uh, their independence is guaranteed by the Mexicans. God dang it, Mexico. I might just have to fight Mexico. Unless we can r rush Ching's armies, which I doubt we can do. 6-4, huh? Uh, this is not good. How much... So we do... We are building quite a bit. How far? Okay, so not, not that far. Serbia, we're making some infrastructure. I just need more nukes. Alright. Population growth is hopefully going up. Everything else is good. Exploding the mines really has no effect on me now. Let's see. So we just need to spend a little bit of time just creating things. Ooh, we got more immigrants. Okay, they stopped again. I, I don't know why. Army training time. Modernization. Military. Civilian. Construction engineering. That might be best to do instead of population. Hmm. I mean, monthly, monthly population growth in states is 1.5, but every month I almost get 15,000 more soldiers. And this would be good for everything. I kind of like this. Let's do that instead. Alright. So how are these guys' uh, training coming along? Stockpiles are doing okay? Yep. Yes, they are. Light tanks? I have 33 in surplus. But I don't have any. Medium bombers? Uh, okay, I guess I got rid of uh, a group of medium bombers that I was actually using. Angered by Hungarian posturing. Medium bombers. Let's get a quick look. Ooh, who's this? I did not... Wait. No, you existed. Uh, you can go right here. I don't care. We're getting just slightly more <laughs> army XP per day. Not very much. Let's see. Air wings. We just fixed you up. Benelux. So you are a fighter. This guy's dead. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Uh, let's make sure every group has some sort of fighters. Fighters. Dive, ooh. Dive bombers, medium bombers. Lauren's handsome. Oh, we got a handsome guy bombing for us. Nice. Uh, let's put you under. Mm, him. Bay of Biscay. No, how about here? Bay of Biscay. How about here? Cool. Should be good. We do get a lot of men per month now, which is awesome. So we need to edit some things. We need more manpower to train. Across the board. Oh, we have enough manpower in uh, England. Central Congo needs more anti-tank. Alright. Let's edit this because it's only 32 combat width. And we already have the 4 artillery. One more infantry for that. Good, good, good. I do want to attack my allies, but if I can't... Oh, well. Who's this? Oh, my... Another Japanese units. Hmm. I could throw them in with the Russians. Because if I attack anywhere in Latin America, they'll be called... They, call, they will call them the United States, and I won't be ready for a war against them. For quite a while. Wants to take out Germany and Italy last. Which means that could maybe work. Hmm. 45. It's still 1944. Actually, means we, we could get better battleships. That would be interesting. The tank. Better artillery, though. I still don't have any tanks, which is a problem. Ooh, uh, logistics could be good, so they use even less supply. Oh, that would be good as well. You know what, let's just go with 
super heavy battleship because we'll use we won't research super heavy battleships for quite a while. Develop some mines, improve worker conditions, slightly more stable for half uh, for like six months. Uh, that might be good, but we could all do better research stuff. Concealment. Yeah, let's get better research. Actually, research time goes down by 2%. Not bad. Airplanes, tanks, motorized now, artillery. Does artillery just focus purely on artillery, or is it like, like this entire page? It might be this entire page. If that's the case, that'd be really worth it, instead of infantry equipment. Uh. Well, let's go with artillery. Hembrug. That'd be interesting, right? All this construction and the shipping of uranium stuff. Why does it keep going on and off? It doesn't make any sense to me. Yorkshire's are almost done. Very nice. How much more? How much building have we done in uh, England? 800. Nice. Southern Slovakia. I could attack them, but I've got no divisions around there now. Guaranteed by the Mexican opposition. Hmm. Best not to attack. I'm going to wait. The next group of people I attack, I will uh, nuke. Straight up nuke. So what are my Russian allies up to? Expand the Red Fleet. That's a good idea. Uh, they have no manpower. Uh, another thing that I did notice. Oh, the Panzer Army. Uh, well, when... Uh, the Civil War ended. Obviously, Hitler's gone. He's probably in Argentina. And their focus should be completely reset. Everything is completely done. Redone. Nice, we got Toad Anti Tank. This is ridiculous. This is a, kind of a, a glitch in the game. So they can reopen up the German political sphere. They could, they could go down and rally the monarchists again. Which just would be absolutely terrible. So they have, in my opinion, completely reset themselves. They have over. Over 1.7 million manpower on volunteer only. It's like none of the Germans actually died. A little bit insane, just a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. Let's just say it like that. It's just kind of ridiculous. Well, there's not very much I can do about it. We can reduce you by 10. Uh, we can reduce you by. You know what? Go back up. Whoops, should not have done that. Whatever. We can reduce that by 20. Just so our anti-tank will be fine. Anti-tank. We have a deficit. But not for very long. Oh, you're not busy doing anything. Go ahead and join your uh, fleet back here. I know, you got five crappy subs. Whatever. Forty's not bad. Ooh. Wait, who are these? Are these the divisions I... Oh, these are the divisions I wanted. Awesome. And that's done as well. Cool. Put you under new army. Your new management. Super Heavy Battleship 2. Uh, we'll finish these guys off first. Yeah. And then we'll put in every single one of these eventually. So, engine could be good. Armor... Unless, because they're already perfect, I'm going to save my uh, naval XP for destroyers when they're really, really going to be needed. Because I want to get make sure that they're very good at taking out subs, as well as airplanes. So that's good. Let's do that next. It's only 44 days, so that's not too bad. So this, you guys are Japanese. Uh, since you're not my puppet, that's fine. I'll put you under this army. I know these are Russian, Russian... Actually, just join these guys. That'll be good. Alright, you are done, so Super Heavy Battleship will become Super Heavy Battleship 2. Just gotta keep an eye on all these. And yeah, I think it's pretty good. I mean, we have eight battleships. I mean, that's... 
That's gotta be pretty good, am I right? I mean, seriously, that's a, that's a lot of battleships. Let's edit this template. We need we can put in one more infantry. That'd be great. And of course it stopped. Congo, they need more of that. Colossus series two. Nice research is done. We're quickly approaching 1944. Escort efficiency. I should make some carriers sometime. Artillery would be good to do. But let's do this. Land out attack. There's so much to research. You join them. And just select them all, actually. Oh, I can't do that. Can I? I can't convert. Oh. Could do. Floating Fortress is good. Hmm. You know what? Uh, keeping them all in the same army. Mean, that's okay. They're not. They're not really that great. That's a. That, that'll be fine. Carrier organization. Wow. Battle ship organization gets even higher. Nice. Still, I have any else here though. That would be good. Um. Of course, the land doctrine is good and done. Do I have any more blueprints? That's what I'm really looking for. Get war tanks. Eh. Air doctrine? Oh, I do. Yeah. Let's try to finish up everything that I have a blueprint for real quick. Okay, so taking your time. It's almost done. Cool. So you guys should all be level like amazing by now. Should all be super amazing. As we let time go on, we're building things like crazy. This is great. Let's take a quick look at our subjects. So. The Russian Empire is slow, quite quickly actually, becoming weaker and weaker, which is great. Oh! Thank you, England. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it, England, for you actually being able to recruit more soldiers for me. I appreciate it. Promote this guy. So where are you? You are on Ching. You're on here. I had to get rid of this. I need another, the full stack army to actually, oh, but Hungary's in the way. God dang it. I'm gonna limit you. Well, with these two divisions, or these two armies, or not, you will hold the line against the Germans. We're probably going to attack our allies first, and then go to war with the United States. So that I could use... A bunch of German and uh, Italian manpower. You will hold the line basically around Prussia, East Prussia, and these Englishmen will hold the, begin to hold the line maybe here. Let's see, right here, I need one big army and then another army here. And yeah, this one would be good around here. That would be good. Africa won't matter. Uh, the UK will be mine anyways, so. Let's see. Let's keep the English divisions under him. I, would, I think he, they would like that the most. Alright, so this is really nice. <gasps> Nuclear bombs. Yes! That gives you better research times. Nice. 34 still. Um, extraction. It's okay. Wait, I could always make more steel. Clothing. Artillery. Yeah, why not? We're doing that, doing that, and that. Eight battleships, that's pretty good. Alright, you, Russia. I obviously will need more divisions to fill all these guys up. You know what, maybe we get rid of some of these divisions. Uh, that, that template's okay. Light tanks, they're kind of garbage. Uh, yeah, this division, though... Yeah, 10 is not cutting it. Alright, not bad. Oh, come on, weak foreign policy? BS, man. I'm calling BS. I gotta do what I gotta do to make sure I'm ready for war. Don't you want to be ready for war? I don't want my men to die, randomly die off. My viewers know this. Do you? Oh, yes, there we go. That's good. That's really, really good. Uh, one more thing, and then we'll 
Well, on the episode. It's already... Oh. Ching. Okay, whatever. Let's see... Engineering... Uh, this would be good. Rocket Interceptor 1. Support rocket art attack, soft attack. Basic guided missile. Oop, but ra better. I gotta do better radar. I gotta. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was uh, maybe a little slow. I mean, we're just building up for war. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you leave a like. I hope you subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.